unfair that we don't get no magic powers and we can't fly? Don't you ever think, gee, wouldn't it be great if I was an alicorn? Ugh, I can't say I have. Just imagine it, just for a moment. Think, what would it be like if I had wings and a horn? Hmm. A princess must always be poised and keep a level head at all times. Is, is it true that there's a, a human world? Please, will you come to my birthday party? I never get any princess to come ever, and it's so unfair. But you don't understand. You've got to try every piece of my candy. All 400 types need a princess approval. Look, we have this, like, major friendship problem. She thinks she can have more than one best friend, and I'm telling her that's a load of nonsense. What do you think? In most cases, tact must be put before complete honesty, and appearing graceful at all times is also a priority. I have Princess Cadence, and she said no. I have Princess Celestia, and she said no. I have Princess Luna, and she said no. And I'm asking you, so you better not say no. Because if you say no, I'll be really, really mad. Because it was so unfair. And did you really save Equestria all those times? Are all those monsters real? Because I've been reading a lot of fan fiction that says, she's being completely unfair. We should all be allowed more than one best friend. You're one of those ponies with more than one best friend, I know. Tell her she's wrong. I think if I give you half right now, you shouldn't be too sick tomorrow, and then you should be able to finish the rest. You must always be patient and kind and only use your magic to help others. Can you bring me lots of gifts too? And then could you also tell your princess friends about my candy? I really want all the princesses to try it. Actually, it would be really great if you could help us solve all our problems. Is Apple Bloom secretly your daughter? Enough! I can't take it anymore! I don't want to be a princess! I, I never did! You know what, Hunter Rays? I like being me the way I am. No, sure you do. That's what every pony says. Being a princess would be great. Hello, everyone. It's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be opening Princess Applejack. Okay, even through this bag, she is looking pretty strange. So let's get her out of here and have a closer inspection. Blech. She won't stand. Okay, now here she is out of the pack hit. After a bit of coaxing, she did finally stand up, but I'm not going to say she's the most stable thing in the world because she definitely isn't. Her body is just about the right show accurate color, and she has a slightly dark orange gradient going down her wings, which looks quite pretty, I think. Her cutie mark looks the same as always, although there's a little scuff on it right there. As she is, of course, a princess, she's wearing a pair of little shoesies, and they have actually managed to paint them. Although, not very well. There's a giant lump here, and it's kind of thin down here. But they tried. That's the important part. And if you look carefully, you might be able to see this yellow streak going down here where the colour of the body isn't even. Haven't had that particular flaw before. She has a long princess horn, and has rather oddly small eyes on this larger head. They look even smaller than the regular size brushable eyes, and they are both surrounded by an apple, which kind of looks like a superhero mask or something. Another problem is that this eye seems to be stretched a little more than the other one. I'm not sure why that would be, but it's definitely the case. At least they're at the same level, these tiny little eyes. Her head does turn rather nicely, but unfortunately there's a little paint scuff on her ear here, some white and red paint, and once again I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's definitely there. Her hair is a cooler, slightly less yellow blonde colour than usual, and it's full of silver tinsel. Let's just unwind it for a moment and see what the quality of it is like. Oh dear, it's looking tangled and knotty and stringy and a mess. Oh dear. I would fear brushing through this hair because before, when they've had hair like this, it pulls their hair out of its roots. So I think I'm just going to wind that up again, just to be safe. We've got to try and save this scrappy hair, guys. Her tail is exactly the same colour as the mane, just without the tinsel. 
And it's smooth enough, I suppose, but it is kind of limp. Just a bit too thin, if you ask me, but it's okay. She also has a little caramel colour necklace with little swirling details on it. It's quite pretty, but unfortunately it is not removable. It's stuck around her neck forever. And finally she has this three-pointed crown. It has the same kind of swirly pattern as the necklace, and of course it's the same colour. So let's see if it fits around her ears properly, because it feels a little bit stiff. Okay, here we go. I don't know if this is going to work. This crown is really stiff. Oh no, there we go, it does fit. Oh, that's quite perfect. Now she really does look like a princess. And before anybody freaks out saying, oh my god, they're not turning Applejack into a princess in the cartoon, are they? I just want to say that I think that's extremely unlikely, as this is just a fake pony. Hasbro hasn't released her. She's just a fakey gasp. And before you ask, I got her directly from eBay for about three pounds, I think. She's not the worst fake princess I've reviewed, but she's also not the best, I think. I think the best was probably Princess Luna. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching.